Imagine a hidden pattern controlling the way prime numbers appear throughout the universe. A pattern so deep that solving it could rewrite the future of mathematics, cryptography, and our digital world. This is the Riemann hypothesis, the most famous unsolved problem in mathematics. In 1859, Bernhard Riemann introduced an idea that linked prime numbers, the building blocks of arithmetic, to a mysterious function called the zeta function. He made a bold conjecture. Every non-trivial zero of this function lies on a single vertical line at one half in the complex plane. No one has been able to prove or disprove it yet. But why does it matter? Because hidden in these zeros may lie the ultimate structure of prime numbers and a key to modern encryption. The Riemann zeta function is a cornerstone of number theory. Denoted as zeta of s, it's a function of a complex variable s. For values where the real part of s is greater than 1, zeta s is defined by this infinite sum, 1 over 1 to the power s, plus 1 over 2 to the power s, plus 1 over 3 to the power s, and so on. The magic happens when Riemann extended this function to the entire complex plane, except for s equals 1. This analytic continuation reveals deeper connections to prime numbers. Through this extension, the zeta function uncovers the hidden patterns behind prime numbers, linking complex analysis to the fundamentals of arithmetic. The zeros of a function are the values where that function equals zero. For the Riemann zeta function, these zeros reveal profound patterns in prime numbers. The zeta function has trivial zeros at negative even integers. These are predictable and less mysterious. The non-trivial zeros are more complex. They appear as points in the complex plane with both real and imaginary components. The Riemann hypothesis states that all non-trivial zeros lie on a vertical line in the complex plane, called the critical line, where the real part equals exactly one half. The Riemann zeta function is like a magical machine. You feed it a complex number, it tells you something about the primes. Riemann discovered that this function has special points called zeros. And these zeros aren't random. They seem to align in a perfect straight line at real part half. This simple alignment is what Riemann hypothesized, and proving it could unlock some of the deepest mathematical mysteries we know. The Riemann zeta function shares a profound connection with prime numbers. Through the Euler product formula, primes become the building blocks that construct this complex function. The formula states that zeta of s equals the product over all prime numbers, p of 1 minus p to the power of negative s, all raised to the power of negative 1. Think of primes as fundamental building blocks. Each prime number contributes a term to this infinite product, shaping how the zeta function behaves. As we multiply these terms for 2, 3, 5, 7, and beyond, we see how the zeta function emerges from the prime numbers themselves. The Riemann hypothesis provides deep insights into prime distribution. By understanding the zeros of the zeta function, we gain precise control over estimates of how primes are spread across the number line. This connection transforms abstract mathematics into a tool for understanding the fundamental patterns of prime numbers. Imagine a complex plane where the horizontal axis represents the real part of a complex number and the vertical axis represents the imaginary part. The critical line is a vertical line at res equals one half. The Riemann hypothesis claims all non-trivial zeros lie precisely on this line. You can visualize the magnitude of the zeta function across the complex plane, noticing how it approaches zero at the non-trivial zeros along the critical line. Examples of the first few zeros are approximately one half plus or minus 14.134725i. Primes are the foundation of encryption. If we truly understand their distribution, we could either strengthen or break cryptographic systems. But the implications go beyond security. It connects to random matrix theory and quantum chaos. It shapes how we estimate prime gaps. And it influences algorithms used in everything from data compression to secure messaging. What if the world's most secure codes could be cracked by solving a 160-year-old math mystery? Modern encryption like RSA relies on multiplying two large prime numbers to create a public key. The security comes from the difficulty of factoring this product back into its primes. Factoring a huge number like this into its prime factors takes immense computing power. For 300-digit numbers used in RSA, 
it could take thousands of years on current computers. The Riemann hypothesis gives precise bounds on prime distribution. If proven true, it could lead to algorithms that factor large numbers more efficiently, potentially breaking RSA encryption. Some algorithms inspired by the Riemann hypothesis have already strengthened RSA encryption bounds. Assuming RH holds, factoring becomes even harder, enhancing online security for banking and communication. This mathematical puzzle doesn't just hide in equations, it guards our digital world. In the next section, we'll explore how random matrix theory connects the Riemann hypothesis to quantum chaos. The Riemann hypothesis connects to random matrix theory which studies the statistical properties of eigenvalues of random matrices. It has been observed that the distribution of zeros of the zeta function resembles the distribution of eigenvalues of large random matrices. This connection hints at a deeper underlying structure. It also relates to quantum chaos, where the behavior of chaotic quantum systems can be modeled using similar mathematical tools. In quantum chaos, systems like particles in irregular shapes exhibit unpredictable behavior that mirrors random matrix statistics. This links pure mathematics to quantum physics, revealing universal patterns in seemingly random phenomena. What if prime numbers hid infinite deserts? Vast stretches where no primes exist at all. Prime gaps are the differences between consecutive primes. As numbers grow larger, these gaps can become enormous. The Riemann hypothesis gives us precise estimates on maximum gap sizes. If true, the largest gap up to x is bounded by square root of x times natural log of x. Yitang Zhang's 2013 proof of bounded prime gaps was inspired by RH methods. This breakthrough showed gaps stay bounded, improved to under 246 in 2023. A mini Riemann success story. This partial victory hints at RH's power. For more than 160 years, some of the greatest minds in mathematics have grappled with the Riemann hypothesis. Entire fields of number theory emerged from attempts to solve it. In 1859, Bernhard Riemann proposed the hypothesis. In 1896, Hadamard and de la Vallée-Poussin proved prime number theorem. In 1914, Hardy and Littlewood advanced analytic methods. In 1940, Selberg and Weil connected to algebraic geometry. In 2018, Michael Atiyah disputed proof attempt. In 2023, current efforts computational verifications continue. Today, it remains unsolved, and it sits at the heart of the Clay Mathematics Institute's Millennium Prize problems, with a $1 million reward for the first correct proof. What prize could inspire generations of mathematicians to chase a single proof? The Clay Mathematics Institute designated the Riemann hypothesis as one of their seven Millennium Prize problems. A correct proof earns a $1 million reward. This highlights the problem's immense importance and difficulty. The Clay Institute continues to track submissions, though none have been successful as of 2025. Throughout history, many mathematicians have claimed to have proved the Riemann hypothesis, but their proofs have been found to be incorrect. A notable example is Michael Atiyah's 2018 claimed proof using spectral geometry. His approach relied on spectral geometry, but it was quickly debunked due to errors in handling the zeta function's analytic continuation. This serves as a cautionary tale. Even legends can err, and peer review is crucial. These attempts highlight the subtleties and challenges involved in tackling this problem. Today, mathematicians and computer scientists use massive computations and deep theoretical tools to test the hypothesis. Trillions of zeros have been checked, and every single one so far lies on the critical line. But a proof still eludes us. A solution could reshape mathematics, accelerate AI models dealing with structure and randomness, and redefine what's possible in encryption and theoretical physics. Modern supercomputers have been used to verify the Riemann hypothesis for trillions of zeros. By 2023, researchers verified zeros up to the 10th to 14th point. In 2024 to 2025, a joint effort extended this to 1015 zeros. These computations provide strong evidence for the Riemann hypothesis, but they don't constitute a proof because a single counterexample could still exist beyond these checked ranges. It also highlights how interdisciplinary the approach to the problem has become. Artificial intelligence is now entering the quest for the Riemann hypothesis. 
researchers are using neural networks to analyze the zeta function's behavior and predict where its zeros might lie. Neural networks, inspired by the human brain, can learn patterns in complex data. Here, they process zeta function values to identify regularities that might lead to insights about the critical line. These AI systems can predict zero locations with surprising accuracy, uncovering hidden patterns in the distribution of prime numbers. A 2024 paper in Nature Computational Science demonstrated this powerful approach. As AI continues to evolve, it promises to accelerate discoveries in number theory, potentially revealing new connections between the zeta function and the primes that have eluded mathematicians for over a century. Quantum computing may offer new ways to tackle the Riemann hypothesis. Unlike classical computers, quantum systems can process multiple possibilities simultaneously. Quantum simulators have modeled zeta evaluations faster than classical computers for small s values. Think of evaluating the zeta function, like exploring a vast landscape. Quantum bits can explore multiple paths at once, like a supercharged explorer. Quantum algorithms could provide breakthroughs in understanding the zeta function and its zeros. This means faster computations and potentially new insights into the Riemann hypothesis. IBM's quantum simulators in 2025 have proven this capability. They modeled zeta function behaviors more efficiently than classical computers, hinting at future possibilities for solving the Riemann hypothesis. This quantum revolution might not just solve the Riemann hypothesis, it could transform our understanding of the universe. If the Riemann hypothesis is proven, it would have profound implications for number theory, providing deeper insights into the distribution of prime numbers. It also impacts other areas of mathematics and physics, particularly quantum chaos and random matrix theory. The influence is so wide that it could usher in a new age of mathematics. Proving RH would connect primes, chaos, and randomness in unprecedented ways. Experts have various opinions on the Riemann hypothesis. Some, like Peter Sarnak, call RH the Rosetta Stone of number theory, urging young mathematicians to pursue it. Others, like Gerd Faltings, believe it's provable via motives or piatic methods. Still others, like Conray, suggest it's false but unprovable, akin to the continuum hypothesis. Most experts believe it is true, with computational evidence being very strong. The Riemann hypothesis isn't just a math puzzle. It's a key to understanding the fabric of number theory. If someone cracks it, the ripple effect will echo across science and technology. One hypothesis can unlock primes, another can shape the forces of physics. In the next video, we'll explore Einstein's field equations. One equation can shape space, another can shape the forces of the universe. In the next video, we'll uncover the Yang-Mills equations.